Beautiful. Okay. This time I'm going to push you forward. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. Help with the hip. Yeah, yeah. It does help a lot. You get so much more abs. So it's that. almost like a. Sit them on them better. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what they're called, with the half Bosu kind of on it. On the Bosu ball, yeah. yeah. They're actually the best thing for doing abs, I find, but you don't be seeing them often. No. The other thing with that is it's like, you still get your hanging shoulder. Yeah. So your shoulder mobility is better, yeah. shoulder health as well. Yeah. You can turn your shoulder specialist, but when your shoulders are fucked, yeah. what do you think it'll tell you to do? Oh, back. This, let's yeah. hang. Yeah. So, but with that as well, push your hips forward, it like completely changes the movement where yeah. it's like, it drops off a bit more, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. They can't cheat in that position. <laughs> yep. They definitely can't cheat in that position. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Hey, at least, come on. <clears throat> come on. Oh yeah, fucking hell, son. That gets okay. quite hard, doesn't it? <laughs> fucking does. Ooh. Feels good, though. Just to start straight arm pull down. Yeah. Before we actually do pull down. Just to get a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little um, bit of blood in there. Keep them tucked in, but then lift this up a little bit. Up, 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 up. Should feel a bit more of a stretch straight away. And then in, in more. More, 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 more. So come in more. Elbows through. Do you know what you do uh, yeah. when you pull through into the back shot? When yeah. you squeeze your lats through? Yeah. Same principle, let's go. Yeah. Right, welcome back, YouTube. We've got a session at Kojo's with Mr. Holland Z. 18 weeks out from Arnold's UK. Yeah, actually, yeah, shit is. 18 <laughs> just weeks out. Me. Cheers, mate. 18 weeks out, just giving me a reminder. So, <laughs> we're going to get a bad day on if you're going to get some. Uh, some tips, then you're lucky. If you don't, then you don't. You're gonna have to watch the session, but we're just gonna go with the flow. Uh, start with a single arm pull down, usual. Get some lat work in done, and then lots and lots of great machines at Kojo's. This is obviously Jordan's private gym that he only lets this is the, select uh, individuals in. So I've been, uh, I've had the privilege of being able to join James today, which is amazing. So we'll definitely get stuck in. For sure. Jay, how are you feeling? Feeling good, feeling all right. 18 weeks out. Yeah, I feel like I'm in yeah. the right position. There we go. 2291 in all right, Nick. Yeah. I think uh, next few weeks, body will start to, you know, play ball properly. It's always the way, Nick, prep, yeah, like, yeah. can get the groove. But yeah, I think energy's pretty good and um, mentality's always improving daily. Yeah. The fridge has the, you know, the mindset thing in the morning on it. It says every day, Yannicka changes it. One day it says, like, fortitude. One day it says uh, power. Yeah. So everything's in place. So I'm just going to, you know, start ticking, ticking the boxes and see what happens, really. Game on. So I have applied for the US Arnold as well. Have you? Yeah, so. How many? 19. That would be two less. Two less. Yeah, two so, less. So. 16 weeks out? Yeah, potentially. Oosh. Yeah, potentially. Oosh. So I will keep you updated on that one. Listen, no time to waste. Right. Let's get stuck into the session. Let's go. Beautiful. I think if you talk right as well, it gets, it gets like heavy at this sticky point, I find. When you, you get less range of motion as well, though. Yeah. You want, you want extend... it to almost be pull down row. Yeah. There's a little bit of a row met, like, to it rather than just, just pull down alone, isn't it? I always want to extend forward yeah. and away from you. Yeah. Like, think about all this. Yeah. It wraps around your ribcage, doesn't it? Yeah. So you want to let it just fucking wrap yeah. all the way through. Yeah. I think one of the errors that I've made on this in the past is I. My position is almost too. I get a lot of tension there and then. I'm not coming back enough, like I'm not yeah. getting to... You almost finish here, yeah. rather than here, yeah. all the way through. Yeah. That feels fucking nice. I haven't actually done it, just that little change, I haven't done it like that. But I can feel it. Let's 
go. Go again. Come on, keep the arm tracking in. Come on, let's go. There we go. Yeah, it's a good cue that the arm tracking in because what happens is obviously you start to get weak. There's a little bit of cheating that I was trying to do, a little bit of this. Because obviously there's more strength when I introduce those other muscles. So elbow in, elbow tight, drive down. Felt better. Get the lats blown up. Appreciate that. Let's go. Now normally, if I train with someone, they're gonna get loads and loads of cues, but train with someone like James, you don't need to. Everything's there, but I think sometimes when we train on our, own, on our own, we don't have someone watching. You can very easily get into bad habits. I know I can. So I think sometimes uh, it's good to have a second eye to be able to uh, just rein things in a little bit, especially with someone as developed as James, because he's so big, it's very easy for him to move load with surrounding musculature. If you, if you wanted to really, you could fucking strap in on that and pull through 20 fucking reps, like Well, the boom. thing is, as you know, there's, there's pulling, is, not all pulling is equal, because you can pull in your strongest position, or you can pull in your position that is needed in order to be a better bodybuilder. Yep. And it's letting go of the ego that is, let me pull with what I can use the most strength, which would be probably if I was to allow my elbow, elbow to flare and drive down and out. Well, sometimes, um, sometimes I think there's a lot of merit to putting yourself into a weaker position necessarily, yeah, yeah. but it's a weaker position for trying to actually stimulate the tissue to exactly. try and train. Accuracy is everything. Yeah. In, in bodybuilding, the one thing that I think is most, the most important as you actually progress, later along the line, the more developed you are, the more imbalances you'll have because the good things have got better. So you have to be even more mindful of that. I think in the beginning, you actually get away with a lot more. When you get to the level of like Cuba, you see the holes because certain things develop, like I say, because that's a certain way you've been doing things. So you have to be very on point with how do you now rectify those things that aren't perhaps as far forward in progression as the other parts. And this is where being as strict as this definitely plays its part, for sure. You know, just come on, just go. Yes, come on. Make your heart, come on. Easy, come on. Good. More, come on. Go again, come on. Better set, come on. Good. And it's very easy to regulate if you have to. Yeah. If you need to come in and ease off, you just go down to one. Well, listen, if you need to ease in, you can still do five working sets. Yeah. And then it's fucking sub production exactly, sessions. Exactly, exactly. So. Yeah. I found as I got, like, if you're getting close to the show with that format, then you can just strip back from there. Yeah. Very easily. Normally, uh, that's what I've always done. Taper the volume, keep the quality, keep the strength. Yeah. If I've got four exercises, for example, yeah. I'll do an extra set just so I've got less exercises. Yeah. But same amount of volume. Yeah. So sometimes in the session, yeah. I do an additional set on this. Yeah. So I can just do four exercises. Yeah, no, I hear that. Strong. That's the one, just like that. So we're rowing for... Upper back here. Yeah, we're not trying to be too... No. Here, full fucking protraction, yeah. full retraction. Yeah. As much range as you can. Yeah. Especially into that stretch. Yeah. But as you push into that stretch, don't let your spine flex forward. So you're basically saying for upper back movement, this is your best selection. Yeah, so I, all my hip hinges are doing my leg day. Yeah, yeah. So that's my actors get work. just focus all on back. Yeah. Yeah, like direct. And that's where I've seen, because I had no... Like three years ago, 
I have nothing there. Mm -hmm. And I mean nothing. Mm -hmm. And now it's actually looking like something. The guys with the best so, backs that I see in bodybuilding, they do do a lot of back. Like Derek and I, I don't see, like they will hit pins, but like say it could be on a leg day. But, but listen, listen, another thing is right. You can't take someone who I know could just have a barbell and a dumbbell yeah. and they'd build an incredible back. Yeah. If, if, if you're not getting it from that, then if you've you're got not to think about that, what you're doing. You need to think about what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I here, for example, right? Barbell rolls a fucking good movement, but I'm never going to get the same range of motion yeah. for all my upper back here yeah. because of this. Yeah. So like here, as I reach into this, wrap around, like, you say. like the tension from my upper back in the stretch here yeah. is just fucking... It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's almost a genetic trait and a physical structural trait that allows for that to happen yeah. subconsciously without even thinking about it. 100%. The people that row like that naturally, that's just something that's in there. Yeah. And if you're not that way, like you say, you've got to find ways to emulate that and so do it yourself, you know? 100%. Keep your ass tucked, ass tucked in, ass tucked in, there. Yes, chest up. You wanna see? Good. Arse tucked, chest up. So hands towards me, but as you push your hands towards me, yeah. push this away. So think about almost there, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning from the cue master. Bear with me guys. I'm used to training on my own, listening to my own inner demons. Three, two, one, hop. Yeah, bye bye. Do. Good. Yes, come on. Yes, I heard again. Yes. Good. <laughs> nice. Okay. So when I'm pulling back here, it's cool to kind of lean up and back. Yeah. Yeah, you like to do that. Yeah, cool. Hundred percent. You just get more range of motion to attraction. Yeah, cool. I'm so used to. I kind of row. I've rowed a lot like this. Not. Roll that. Roll that yeah. out though. And then lift up here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just close everything yeah. off so much more. Let's go, Jay. Strong. Yes, sir. Come on. Go again. Come on. Again. Come on. One more. Go again. Again. I beat Raf, I beat Lucas, I beat fucking Regan, and I beat Samson. It will happen again. <laughs> you have actually beat them all. Huh? You have actually beat them all. <laughs> so no fucking excuses, Con. No excuses, got to be able to start working. No fucking excuses. Okay. So, structure of the session. Very, very simple. Start of the lap rest movement, 
single arm pull down, chest supported row, targeting the upper back. Now we're going to move on to a single arm row, again more lat work and then we'll finish on some more upper back stuff and some fluff work to finish off on after that. Now, reason why we start with a lat movement. I have never ever seen a bodybuilder to this day that has ever stripped off, got on stage and people have said, wow, his lats are too big. It just doesn't happen. So it always makes sense to start off a lat best movement because your lats can never be big enough. So after that, upper back work, it's just much more simple, much easier. And in my opinion, if you're fresh and you are starting off with a lat movement, it's much easier to keep it on the lat versus doing it other way around. So if you're struggling with your lats and you actually have a baseline of muscle built, that might be a good idea for you. If you are five stone work through and you don't have a back yet, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Fucking go, motherfucker. Big wide back, come on. Let's fucking do it. Easy. Beautiful. Yes. There we go. Come on. Again, come on. Again. Drive through. Go again. One more rep. The year my lower lats were their best, when I was doing a lot of movements like this. There was a shitty machine we had at King's, but it was just one of them conventional plate loaded pulls. But I was using it a lot standing up. I used it. Yeah. I know, and, and I know exactly what you mean. I used it a lot. My really lower lats were the best it ever been. Really good machine. Yeah. It's shit if you use it how it's meant to be, like how it's made. If you do it like this. Yeah. But then standing away. It had the perfect drop off. Yeah. And my, I remember like, even like, just going in the poser room, just standing like that. I was like, lats are on point now. Yeah. So exercise selection is a big thing. And I you do miss so. out if you go to a gym and something's not there. It is worth traveling to a gym just for one thing if you need it, So, uh, in my opinion. I used to train at four different gyms for all different training yeah, days. Totally. If, if that's what has to be done at the time, it kind of has to be done. Luckily, uh, now you can just put everything under one roof. Luckily in my area, it's, it's so saturated with gyms. Yeah. There's like 15 minute drive yeah. and I'd have access to like five so different each gyms. each way you go. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Super fucking easy. Because listen, if you have a whole period of like improving and you're missing one movement that would benefit you the whole time, you don't get that year back. Yeah, I agree. And, it, and honestly. I agree. You can't get, and this is where you can't get too emotionally connected to your training. Like if you're just doing what you enjoy, you're gonna miss out on the shit that's gonna I improve you. It's a fine line yeah. between just doing what you enjoy versus doing what you need to do because. And a little bit of what you enjoy. One, one thing you have to understand is, there's a limited time frame we can do this. Fucking exactly. And before we know it, blink of an eyelid, yeah. it's five years later, five years later. At the what? end of the day, it's like any job, isn't it? A manual job, whatever it may be, job. If you've got to get something done, majority of the time, there's going to be something about that procedure that isn't enjoyable. Yeah. You have to do the shit you don't, you, <laughs> yeah. you, you don't, you don't like to do. The amount of times do. I've been on a job for removals and I've had to lift a filing cabinet. Do you think I want to lift it? No, so you've got to do your low rows. <laughs> if you want to be back, That's you've got to make sure you train everything. Like Mike Tyson says, you have to do the shit that you hate just the way, just, just the same way, like the stuff that you love it. Yeah, it's true. So. It's true. Very nice. Good. What the fuck about? Good. Yeah, isn't it? Okay. Make it hurt, come on. Loads more. Again. That's better. Fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Go 
again. One more. Come on. Watch the fucking rats. One more. Easy fucking rats. Yeah. Don't fuck about. Good, that looks nice. You see that line? Yes, come on. Yes, come on. Nice work, bro. So, we, so now I, because I'm watching it, it's obviously what we're, we're, we're still primarily focusing on upper back on. Yeah, on this movement, yeah. Yeah, instead of trying to drive it too narrow. Yeah, just literally yeah. as much, as much range of motion as you can. Yeah. Especially into that stretch. Cool. Because it's, it drops off so much here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not really. Got yeah. be in that stretch a little bit. Yeah. Strongest foot, come on, go again. Go again. That's the right. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Nice, Ken. Yeah, come on. And again. Jeez. And again. Fucking cow. Yeah. Don't lose it, keep it on it. Yes, challenge. Oh, okay. Move it. Come on, work. Let's go. Go again. Come on, back up, back up, back up, get into stretch, get into stretch, get into stretch. More assisting now. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Okay. this hip away yeah hip 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 away that's it so almost just, like that yeah so from the start you oh, want it so this well, is just all nice. if i got this elbow here it feels really good hip this way this way this way more so turn that hip away from this do you know what i mean and the hip there we go turn towards me there that was cool let's go now and then just fucking try and get this as far as you can
Like I know that five plates, four or five plates on that, that squat in it yeah. is heavy. Oh yeah. Put knee wraps on, you'll do six. Six, seven, yeah. Why do six if you've got yeah. no knee wraps on and it's fucking hard? Because I noticed I'd done it to myself the other yeah, day. It's pressure as well from other people, doing yeah, it? But you know what, fuck pressure. <laughs> 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 So the session of that was pretty much the same as we do at home. Obviously having a look show using some different pieces as well, like the prime pull down and this row behind me that we actually have coming next month. So I'm definitely looking forward to using it when it, when it arrives. Now, rear delts after bicep worked. The main reason for that is every time I go into rear delts after training back, I feel like the rear delts are already pretty smashed from the back work. So, we can never get, one, a good connection with it, but two, some good quality sets. So giving us a little bit of a break, doing the bicep first, then rear delts after, allows us to just get a lot more productive sets. So in turn, more quality work, more gains on the table. This is the spot in the gym. This is the uh, fast forward me three weeks in condition. So if someone sends you a check-in in this light, You've got to guesstimate three weeks back. Oh, fuck that, mate. Check-ins. Like, <laughs> no check-ins in the gym, mate, ever. Outside, man. Ever. First thing in the morning when you wake up, outside, outside in natural light. Small. You've got to look as shittest. That's 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you see... Uh, you should look at your own check-ins, actually, be disgusted. Yeah. If you like them because you're under a fucking down light. If your coach asked you to send her pictures after training in your favourite lighting... He's a shit coach. ...then a bell end. <laughs> He's a shit coach, he is. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Oh! Look good, man. Definitely good shape. It's not too fat, is it, like, for enough? No. 291? No. <sighs> right. That is a wrap, guys. Tremendous session. Uh, like I said, the layout, very similar to what we do at home. It's what we do. Enjoy it. Definitely a good session. Like I said, nothing really over-technical because we don't really need to. Uh, I mean... Jay's been doing this longer than I have. He's been doing it since, since 16, 17 years oh, old. So, I would see you, in you know, over there's, no, there's, <laughs> nothing, there's nothing really to go over like I normally do if someone comes over to train. But like I say, again, it's good, it's the little reminders. Because obviously yeah. I train alone a lot, so it's the little things like get the elbow in. Yeah, 100%. You know, so Especially like well. when you look at your back and you look at your lats. Yeah. And like even the shots that you have, yeah. that's what needs to come up. Yeah. Yeah. It's not necessarily your thickness or mm. even the upper back. Yeah. It's just more so, more lat in yeah. that front double. Like you said at the beginning of the session, You've never seen someone that said they haven't got, uh, they, 
they have too much lap. 100% not. Lunsford, any of them guys, so. Yeah, and yeah. when you look at Derek, like, he's got the best back in the game now. And you, I would probably dare say it's like this top three. Backs Phil, time. Phil, Ronnie and Derek right. from the back. Yeah. Well, the back alone. Yeah. But guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And we'll see you again soon. Like, share, subscribe. Peace Get out. after it.